Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to the Wine with Jimmy channel here on the world of YouTube. We're delighted to have you on board. Thank you for stopping by. And this channel is all about wine education. And this specific video presentation is on the WSET Level 3 SAT. That's the Systematic Approach to Tasting. My full examiner's tasting notes. So if you are preparing for your tasting examination, go and pick up a bottle of this wine or one of the others from many of my tastings online. So you can taste at home and then write your tasting note and compare it to my full examiner's tasting notes. Uh, so if you have any comments about your tasting note or this wine, any theories, any concerns, whatever it may be, pop it in the comment section of this video below. And whilst you're down there, make sure you click like and subscribe so you get all of our weekly updates. Dates. So yes, let's go through this wine. I'll give you my full examiner's notes and you can pause it at any time and mark your own at home. The winery is Lake Breeze. The name of the wine is Bernuta Shiraz Cabernet Sauvignon from Langhorn Creek. That's in South Australia. It's now a five-year-old wine, 2016, with 14.5% alcohol by volume. And it's about £20 in the UK from Streatham Wine House. Let's go through the full tasting notes. So first up, it's the appearance just for two marks available here. We don't mark clarity or other observations as examiners. So just for intensity and colour. And this has a nice dark intensity. So we put down deep and then the color here has maturity. Certainly when you tip it away from you in the glass, you've got this garnet hue to it. So deep garnet is the, the two combination here for the two marks available. The nose, as always, I split into two sections. So there's seven marks in total. So those seven marks I split into two. The first part here on this page, you have two marks available out of the seven. And that's intensity and development. And here it's pronounced. So there's lots coming out of the glass. Uh, you know, you can smell it a good sort of 10 centimeters away, your nose. And it's developing in terms of its development. That means you've got tertiaries coming through. So there's two marks there. What about the other five? So here you go. On the nose, we split it into primary secondary and tertiary. You can do this on your tasting sheet. I urge you to. Uh, it makes for easier reading and a more structured tasting note. And you can see there we have primary, secondary and tertiary in three boxes. The marks are allocated as such from an examiner. Those five marks, you get one minimum for primary, one minimum for secondary and one minimum for tertiary. And then the remaining two are for anything, primary, secondary or tertiary. So that basically means you must get at least one primary, one tertiary, one secondary uh, in, in order to get the full marks. And that's really because we want you to identify that this is a developing wine. Primary characteristics, first of all, black fruited, this is certainly. So things like black currant, black berry, black cherry. Uh, dried or cooked fruit, things like cassis, uh, baked or stewed black fruits, um, a little bit minty, minty and, and eucalypty. So it has that kind of menthol, eucalypt, mint, medicinal characteristic that's on herbal. And then it has lots of licorice, cardamom and black pepper to it under pungent spice. The oak is quite sweet with vanilla, coconut, cloves. Uh, you'll find toast, cedar, charred wood, smoky, chocolate, mocha, coffee, those kind of notes you can see just there. So lots of oak integration. The fruit's got a bit of development to it. A little bit tar, fig, prune, dried blackberry. And then leather, savoury, meaty and some tobacco coming through with that dried fruit element as well. 
Okay, so one at least primary, one at least secondary, one at least tertiary, and then two for anything else from this slide, totaling, of course, five marks. And there are no negative marks. I'd expect my students on a wine like this to write somewhere between 10 and 15 aroma characteristics. Then on to the palette. The palette is split into 10 marks. Uh, so seven for this page and then three for the flavor characteristics. OK, sweetness on this wine is dry. Now, when you get wines like Shiraz in Australia, Amarone in Italy, Zinfandel in uh, California, there is a possibility of some sugar, residual sugar in the wines. We, I know we always say that red wines are dry, but they sometimes can have a little bit of an off dry nature to them. Uh, but this still is a dry style. Just be careful. Acidity, medium or medium plus. Tannins, very ripe, uh, very powerful, quite robust, medium plus or high. Now notice on both of those, I have put down a range. As an examiner, I am allowed to put down ranges on two of the lines. You at home as a student cannot. You must only put down one thing per line. So you have to be within my ranges on those two lines. Of course, high alcohol pushing 15%, full-bodied, pronounced flavor intensity and a very long length. Uh, so really hitting the high echelons of this wine tasting note, as you can see there. What about the other three marks? Well, this is exactly the same slide as the nose we had earlier. And the three marks are one for primary, one for secondary, and one for tertiary. I'm not gonna go through them all again. Please pause this screen now, mark those, one primary, one secondary, one tertiary for your last three marks on the palette. Conclusion, cracking wine, actually. Uh, it's quite a powerful wine, but still softening in all the right places. Good, good balance. The, um, the amount of character the wine has, the amount of flavor intensity, the amount of um, certain flavors, uh, really does offset the, the high alcohol. I would worry if it was a bit thinner. Um, and it wouldn't probably have balance, but it does in this case. The length is long, so yes. Intensity is wonderfully pronounced and very defined with its character and loads of complexity spanning primary, secondary, tertiary. So it's outstanding for one mark. Can drink now, but has potential to further mature. Uh, so it will remain outstanding on this scale, but potentially gain more characteristics. So Kendrick now, but has potential for aging. That brings me to the end of the note. It's out of 21 for the Lake Breeze Cabernet Shiraz. Um, please do let us know what you've got in your in the comments section below this video. It'd be very interesting to see what you got. And if, you add, if you've got any added uh, characteristics, of course, it's always wonderful to hear uh, from you guys. A distinction is 17 out of 21, a merit is 14, and a pass is 12. So I hope you did very well. Now you can go off and just drink the wine, which is uh, always quite exciting when you have a full bottle. Um, if you do find yourself in the United Kingdom, please come and see me at one of my establishments uh, for a class, a glass or a bottle. I've been Jimmy Smith. Thank you very much for your attention and see you very soon. Bye-bye.